Yeah, yo, what's up, what's up? Good morning, good evening, good night, good afternoon, good dusk, good dawn. Shout out to you whatever time you're listening in, wherever you're listening from. If that's Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Audible, Amazon Music, Samsung, Geo Savan, Google Podcasts, YouTube. If you're watching in, thanks for watching in, giving me a reason to get dressed. Do my hair, throw a shirt on throw some pants on. I realized that my pants are in the shot because trust me, uh, I was going to be like most streamers and just go half up, but uh, can't do that. Coming live from my voice to your phone, computer, headphones, TV, car stereo, smartwatch, Bluetooth speaker. Let me know. I'm sure there's some way to listen in 2023 that I didn't know about, but um it's really cool. Shout out to people that are uh, playing the YouTube video on TVs. Um, I got to see that. That looks pretty cool. So, you know, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here this week right now with I Will Not Lose podcast. Let's take a moment to be present and recognize that it is now, right now, whether you're right now is washing dishes, running, exercising, working, cleaning. If you're at an office desk, if you're in a warehouse, if you're laying down, flying, driving, wherever you're at, let's be grateful we're alive, baby. Failure can be frightening, but as Winston Churchill reminds us, success is all about going from failure to failure without losing enthusiasm. This is I Will Not Lose podcast. Let's jump right in. All right, so what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about podcasts, the reasons why they fail, the reasons why people don't continue them while they have such a high uh, failure rate. And really the the theme is to just kind of fail forward to not worry about having everything be perfect. I touched a little bit on the last episode uh, or maybe two episodes ago. I lose track at this point. But at some point in the past, I talked about the importance of persevering when you're not number one and how it's about your own personal journey and not necessarily comparing yourself to others. Um, you'll see tons of comments and people will say the key to happiness is not comparing yourself to others. Well, I think that is part of it. I think gratitude is a big, bigger part, but this is a moment to be grateful at the podcast, be grateful that we're putting everything out. Um, at the time of recording this, uh, I will, I won't lie. I record at a different time every week. It's usually between Friday and Sunday and then push to record or to push to actually post it on a Monday. But Sometimes I just don't feel like recording on a, a Sunday, I'll be honest. Uh, I like the weekly pace that we have because it sets a schedule, sets a certain amount of focus. I feel like if I did less frequent than that, I wouldn't be focused on it. And that wouldn't necessarily lead to better content. So uh, thinking about which pod, you know, some podcasts are weekly, some podcasts are monthly, some podcasts just drop like once every two, three months, have a huge listenership. Um, some are every day. So I thought about what, how frequent are the ones that I listen to? How many do I listen to? You know, people have a certain threshold. Um, there are power users. You know, I've seen people in their podcasts and they can just scroll through however many shows. I'm like, well, I guess if you don't watch TV or play video games, you could definitely have that sort of uh, frequency. But I don't know, for the most of the time, I listen to mostly weekly podcasts. Um, I think Lex Friedman drops daily, but in that realm of like Lex Friedman, Joe Rogan, I can't consume everything. Um, I like to absorb their shorts. So I also realized that a lot of this game isn't even the long form episode. Uh, you know, you may have a long form episode, you may chop it up into smaller bits. And I've literally asked people to subscribe and they say, no, I'm fine with the uh, the little posts that you put out to Instagram. So I'm like, oh, man, we find a way to weave that in. If you look at analytics, it's almost impossible to paint a picture. I mean, the same reel on TikTok has 300 views and 20 likes. And then you look over on Instagram and it has 15,000 views and 1,100 likes. So it's hard to tell what platform, what posting time, all this. And that 
goes with a podcast. If you think about your favorite podcast, think about where did you hear about it? Did a friend tell you? Did it come across your suggested? Did you just give it a try? And if that one time that you gave it a try, was that their hottest content? You know, was that the thing that's going to make you subscribe and come back? You know, usually podcasts are around for five years, 10 years. Um, shout out to the brilliant idiots that I listened to. They're about to do their official release. I'm pretty sure I don't, I've been listening to the podcast at least like four or five years. I think they've been around close to 10 and they're about to do their release. Uh, the structure they have now has stayed pretty consistent, but I remember back when it was just, uh, it was just them talking, you know, there were different things that came up, but now they have different sections where they ask for listeners, things like that. So all definitely inspiration, but you create a log. Like I think there's a certain threshold of too much content. So if somebody's posting daily, you know, uh, I would probably watch every Joe Rogan episode if it was weekly, but at a three hour episode every single day, I know that he has listened. I mean, he's, he's cut millions of views every, at least when he was on YouTube, I don't think you could see his views anymore, but I, I don't see why you wouldn't have a million to 5 million views per episode. Uh, maybe a couple hundred thousand, but even so, people are checking in every single day. People are sharing the content. But if I get into a backlog, if I miss a week or two of Brilliant Idiots, I'm like, okay, I can go and I can listen two episodes back. Uh, if I miss five episodes, if something was going on in my life and I miss it, I'm just going to pick up where they left off. And that's why I think whatever you do, it's the consistency that matters. So I apologize for anyone who is uh, thrown off by my inconsistent posting schedule, but it's always in the beginning of the week, Sunday or Monday. I think the latest we ever posted was Tuesday. So if you're listening to this on a Monday, then uh, that means I posted it and edited it today. And we're going to try to keep the Monday thing going. Um, it's never going to be perfect. I think last episode, my uh, neighbors were bumping music on Sunday. So I said, let me try uh, getting up early Monday, but you got to be in the mood. You got to be, you got to be feeling it. You got to be dressed, you know, trust me. I've thought, here's some things I've thought of doing an audio only podcast. So I didn't have to get dressed. And I thought, well, that doesn't really stick with the whole goal of doing this for your mental health and doing this so that you could become, uh, you know, just better at something, sharpen the sword, you know? Um, so if I find myself, okay, I need to put something up daily, I could probably do a daily audio podcast, but it would become just something to do every day. Um, I've thought about getting rid of the extra camera angles, but they really do add a lot to the watching experience. So sorry if you're listening in, this is a syndicated YouTube video podcast. I try not to mention things that I have to go and post and pull up. It's not like, uh, you know, like a Joe Rogan podcast. He has a, um, an assistant and somebody pulling things up and they can live stream what's on their computer screen. So it makes for a great conversation. If I have guests or I have somebody and we're talking about something, I may put up a visual reference afterwards, but I try not to make the show reliant on having to watch how many times, you know, you're watching something and somebody says, Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Look at all those colors. And you're like, what are they doing? And usually a good host will stop and say, for those of you who are just listening, here's what's going Going on and they kind of narrate, you know, like Tony Ortiz takes a pause and sips out of his branded I will not lose cup. Shameless plug right there. But um, I try to go for an audio first experience. Uh, that's the way I like to listen. But everybody I talk to, they're like, oh, you know, you should uh, not touch your nose so much when you're on the video. I'm like, oh, wow, there is actually people watching me speak. So maybe I'll start to do some things with the set, uh, work on being a more visual podcast. But hey, you know, listeners have different reasons for tuning in. Uh, some people may have read the description 
said, hey, that sounds like a good episode. I'm going to jump in. Somebody may have said, hey, I know Tony. I think a lot of listeners know me personally because I'm building things through social. Uh, But on YouTube, a lot of the people are not subscribed. Uh, This episode itself is probably going to speak to a different audience than usual because there's a lot of people that want to know about podcasting, how to start it, why many people fail. And so we're going to get into that in a little bit. But it's important to know what you can expect from an episode. Uh, the uh, the stuff that I listen to, let's see, Brilliant Idiots is Charlemagne the God and Andrew Schultz pretty much just talking. The premise of the show is um, dumb people talking about smart shit. So it's um, essentially... We're not experts. This is our opinion. And it's not a place where I look for a news source, but they do cover pop culture things. So just similar to if you were having a conversation at a coffee shop with a friend, things come up in the news. Um, I choose not to make my podcast about pop culture necessarily. I mean, if something blows up and everybody's talking about it, sure, this is an outlet. We'll be able to keep the conversation going just like in a barber shop or, uh, you know, coffee shop or focus group, something like that. Um, but the goal is to give you something to listen into. See, I'm not smart enough to know what everybody likes. And I do ask my audience and I do read comments and try to get an idea, but I just make content that I would like to listen to. So as long as it sounds good, as long as I have the equipment, there's not a ton of background noise. I'm not constantly shuffling with the cup and picking it up, putting it down, making noise. Um, I think that it gives you the ability to zone in, to tune in and I don't think that people hang on every single word. word. Um, I know I don't remember everything that I put. Somebody puts a comment and says, hey, you talked about that. I'm like, oh, that's right. And, you know, we're able to keep the content going. But I think if you post too frequently, people start to ignore your content. Uh, You have to really think of the psychology as somebody who's listening when you go. And a lot of people start podcasts and just say, well, I'm going to get on there and talk. And they get their friends who are going to talk. And it's one person doing all the mixing and editing. And uh, trust me, the the talker, the person talking is, I don't want to say the least important because everybody's a part of the team, but we'll compare them to maybe the kicker. (laughs) I don't know. Uh, It's definitely a part of the team, but everybody can talk. Some people have great voices and there's people with great mic technique that are better on the mic. And those people usually will have teams around them. But nine times out of 10, if you're the guest or you're something on the podcast, you're not doing the editing, you're not doing the storyboarding, you're not putting the organizational content. That's a huge reason for podcast failures. You know, you have either poor planning, lack of organizational structure, budget. Budget's a big one. You know, I'm a hobbyist. I'm in this on the cheap end, but you also have to realize I have 10 years of audio production experience. I know what I'm looking for. I didn't technically start from scratch, but I'm not thousands of dollars into this game. It's very easy to get that crazy. There's some upgrades that I want to do, but we have everything we need to be able to produce the show and put it out. So a lot of the other stuff is going to be for show and we'll get it because that's the purpose of growing. It's people want to see growth. That's the great part about documenting this on video on a YouTube. People are going to be able to look back to when we only had one camera angle and terrible lighting. Well, we still have terrible lighting, but we'll get there. Let's give it a chance, people. (laughs) So when you get into saying, I'm going to start a podcast and I want to have this sort of theme and this sort of structure, and this is what I'm going to talk about, um, that influences what kind of guests you have, what kind of sponsors you have. So if you don't think about that in general, even figure out the name, you know, you name your podcast the same as somebody else. Yeah, you're going to get the experience of recording those episodes, but you lost some brand equity and having to start over, change or do a new brand or something like that. You know, um, I've realized that I've read a lot of books, a lot of content that I try to put in is from a book or something that I've read, some sort of philosophy that I have. But honestly, it will come up with the idea of training myself to think of successes learned from failures. And especially, especially when I'm like, 
why am I doing this? This is taking too much time. This isn't fun anymore. All the excuses for why not to start a podcast. I go and I look at like somebody will text me, you know, a lot of people talk about this, but you're actually doing it. Sure. There's people who say his episodes are too long. He talks too long. His hair is too long. Uh, We'll stop with the long stuff, but I get it. There's not a preference for everybody. So I've talked to some people that say your episodes should be longer. Obviously, when there's guests and there's banter and uh, back and forth, you can have for a longer episode. That also means for more editing time and to put out a guest every single week, I can tell you wouldn't be sustainable without some sponsorship or without some uh, bringing this more into a full-time thing. So the amount of editing, the amount of time, I like it. Um, We're looking to put this consistency out. And as I talk to people, that's what they want to see. Now, nobody is checking in. A lot of the viewers from YouTube are not subscribed, at least over half or close to half. So that could mean that people just don't want to subscribe. That could mean that my content is terrible, or it could just mean that people are falling back on the consistency and they know where to find it when they want to find it. You can go on Spotify, Apple podcasts, uh, or Apple music, Amazon music. You can search. I will not lose podcast. And I come up, you can Google it. There's a website there. So at any time you check back, we'll be here with a recent episode. Will the scope change? Sure, we're going to keep the general theme, but we'll introduce a new season or change some things or just change the description because I thank you very much. I know there is someone out there who's listened to every bit of content and every episode. Uh, You haven't made yourself known yet, but I don't think that there are people who have checked every single episode. If you've checked even two, that means I've given you a reason to come back. And I definitely appreciate you. Um, If you have a private channel to reach out to me, like an inbox, you can uh, reach out to me and let me know things that I could change to improve to not fall into the pit of one of the, uh, I'm not even going to throw a percentage out of there, the number of podcasts that stop or fail. But um, it would be great to make the choice to stop this podcast or move to something else and not fall into a budget or a lack of organizational structure, lack of collaboration, poor execution. You know, I think we're we're doing good. Uh, the first episode was named The Goal is to Fail. So this is kind of a three month check in on where we're going. We've got um, I mean, it's amazing to be gifted and I will not lose mug. It's like you know, a lot of times people start hobbies and do things and their friends just laugh at them on the sideline. But the amount of support we've had from friends and family to put this together. Um, and trust me, there are negative comments. There are people that uh, there's things they don't like about the show and they make it vocal to uh, say it. If you want to post comments publicly, you know, his episode should be 27 minutes, not 22 or 18 or whatever this is. Um, I can tell you, I go till my notes are done and I plan for about 15 to 25 minutes of content, but there's no way that I am going to be doing this like a public speech and have some sort of a timer or something like that. It just takes away from the relaxed feel of natural speech. So We're going to keep everything going the way that it's going now. We have some guest episodes coming up. We're going to be announcing season two. Uh, Shout out to you if you're listening who told me I am way super extra for having a season two and saying that they didn't know podcasts had seasons. You know what? I didn't either, but ACAST lets me select which season it's from. So if I switch up the the thumbnail and I switch it up to season two, it's season two. And uh, we're going to set out the goal right now to put out 10 seasons of I Will Not Lose podcast. If 10 seasons are up, then we can make the goal to say, all right, we're going to slow down. Until then, we're going to try for sticking to a consistent schedule, posting on uh, early in the week. I'll put an official launch date out. I'll put out an official trailer. Once I figure out exactly what we're going to do and what we're going to be doing consistently, I'll put out something that kind of substantiates that and make the goal for promoting and uh, gaining more listenership. But right now, this show, uh, be be happy if you're listening. You are part of a special 
beginning group. I'm planning on creating something that you can stick with me for years with and we can look back and just being able to look at the catalog now and say, I think this is episode number 14 or 15. So that's a solid three months. We've got a quarter of a year down under our belt, got an episode up for every week from them, except I think Christmas. And um, content creators, if you are listening to this because you're looking to start a podcast and you're going to do something, take my advice. Don't skip a week. Um, Try to set up your content to be able to put out weekly or daily or monthly content and not have to put together filler episodes. Um, I'll be honest, I swear every week I'm like, all right, well, I could just get on the mic and just talk a bunch of crap and fill up 25 minutes and post it and put a cool thumbnail and stuff. But I like to think that maybe this could be that first episode that you ever hear. I'd hope that I left you with something special and you can kind of learn from the mistakes and just take the theme and fail forward. Just get out and try it. Don't wait forever thinking. I mean, I'll be honest, I would still be in the prep stages of this podcast had we not said, uh, honestly, if Gil didn't have the release date, I think it was October 23rd or um, late October when he dropped uh, Writing to Heal. We had that project ready to go. We said we were going to start a podcast for it. And I thought in the meantime, you know, it'd be cool if I had this on the side and my brain started churning. Fast forward three weeks and We're hitting record once a week, writing titles, putting out content, putting thumbnails, promoting it out to social. So I did a a good three month run of promoting it. I'm going to get back to posting personal stuff on my social things with family, things with pets, work stuff. Um, And when a new episode drops, I'll make sure I put a little bit of a content, but don't know how crazy we're going to go with the shorts or things like that. Uh, let's see, let's pull up that outro. Cause again, it's about consistency. <laughs> this is, I will not lose podcast stories of success learned from failure to support the show. Visit website shows.acast.com slash. I will not lose subscribe on your favorite podcast player, share the episode link, leave a comment. Your contribution is appreciated. Thank you for listening. And we are looking at a bonus episode of just straight shout out. So I'm going to be pulling everybody from the comments, inboxes, personal stuff you've said, and we're just going to tell the story of promotion, enthusiasm, and success. Thank you for listening.